hello everyone welcome back to flow finance a channel where we talk about money matters that concern us as nigerians so if you're investing in nigeria whether you live in nigeria or you live outside nigeria if half of your mind is in nigeria like you live outside nigeria but half of you is in nigeria your plan is to eventually retire to nigeria when the storm is over you've come to the right channel the only thing you need to do is you see that subscribe button below if it looks red it means that you're not yet a member of this family click that subscribe button change it to gray and you're a full-fledged member welcome on board and welcome back all my family members that are here talking about our country and the things that concern us today i'm going to share with you my favorite investment you know some people are always like Flo, what is your favorite investment? You're talking about investment, investment. Which one? If you're going to invest in one thing and money is not the issue, what is that thing? I want to know. As always, I put out a disclaimer whenever I remember. <laughs> I am not a financial expert. I'm not here to advise you. I'm just here to share my experiences investing in Nigeria since 2001. Yes. I feel it's time for us to start having these financial conversations especially after what happened last year that's why i created this channel so come with me let's have this conversation leave your thoughts always feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section first of all let me talk about the various kinds of investment you have money market instruments where you put money in and you take money out like you can put money in the savings account it's money market yeah you just put money in your bank you, have, you know the percentage you'll be receiving as interest and they pay you that every month. That's a typical savings account. Usually they don't pay a lot. And then you have the fixed deposit account where your money is locked in somewhere. A certain amount of money is locked in for a specific duration. And at the end of the duration, you get your money. You have treasury bills where you get your interest upfront, and then they hold your money. And at the end of the term, they pay back your money. So all these are... Um, money money investments liquid very liquid within a short time short term investments you put in money you take out money yeah you don't see it it's kind of virtual <laughs> yeah and then you have paper investments like when you talk about shares bonds it's paper because you know you you get maybe when you buy shares you get a certificate and your name is in the register of a company you know something like that as part of the owners of that company so it's a step above money market instruments yeah your name is in the register of a company. You know what that means? <laughs> they put your name in the book of life. <laughs> and then when you go a step further, you have physical investments, which is like real estate, which includes lands, buildings, and all that. More solid investments. So out of these types of investments, uh, my favorite favorite is real estate, especially if it's a building. Nothing is more enjoyable more fun gives you more happiness than when you see an edifice and you say this is mine i'm a landlord i'm a landlady it's fun it's fun it's fun i tell you it's fun like you can finally say i have something tangible i have something solid that i can call my own it's not something that you can easily liquidate of course you can liquidate it but it's not it's not easy to liquidate it you have to be really, really, really in dire need of money for you to sell off a property. Yeah. But you know, your shares, you can just call your stockbroker today, today, by tomorrow, they've sold your shares. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's so much fun. It's like uh, adult investment. Yeah, I call it adult investment. You know, the others is when you're just dipping your feet in water. I'm not saying that you, you don't hold shares in your old age, but I'm just saying that you, you don't it's you it's hard to find people who just start investing and their first investment is real estate it's really hard so usually you use those ones to wet your feet and but when you have become an adult in investing that's when you you point to that edifice so this is mine oh it gives so much joy i love it i love real estate investment more than anything so let's go a bit back in time to why real estate became my favorite favorite thing in the world even before i knew it as something that is you know one can invest in to make money i've always liked the idea of real estate the idea of building so back when i was very young i was already in secondary school but i was still in junior secondary school so 
11, 12, 13. Yeah, about that age. One of my cousins, one of my older cousins, because the, the cousins in my family, some of them are old enough to be like our fathers. Yeah, we have very much older cousins. One of my cousins was, he still is a quantity surveyor then, because, you know, in these professions, once you're in it, you're always in it. Yeah, you, you never kind of retire. You never retire. Yeah. So whenever we went to his house then, then he was still single so he would spread the blueprint you know the blueprint in those days he used the the stenciled building plans not these digital things without character that they produce these days with autocad <laughs> no those days it was blueprint the one that you would touch you can feel it the rustic feel the rustic look like newspaper <laughs> so he would spread everything like mostly in his study but if he was working on a lot of them you even see some of them on his night you know because there were no kids there no no kids to tear them up so he would spread them on every free surface whenever we came i would be pouring over these drawings trying to decipher them what is this what are these lines what are these acts and i'll be asking him a lot of questions my parents will be like leave the young man alone you ask too many questions but my cousin will be like no 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 leave her alone let her ask because he told them and he told me he said he she is the only one that comes here and is interested in these things <laughs> she's the only one that asks me questions so please leave me let me explain it to her so it was actually fun for him to explain what he did to me, like to someone, not just to me, like to someone, because, you know, nobody ever asked. My parents never asked him. They would just know this is his job. But, you know, nobody, you know how people never, ever try to have a conversation with you to find out, like, hey, what is actually this? Or, like, if you're editing a video, maybe somebody comes and nobody really wants to know, how do you do this? How do you film videos? How do you upload the event? When you see someone ask you that, you will be very, very interested in telling them what to do because it's so much fun to tell people, like to try to explain your job in the language another person will understand. So he was explaining it to me and I'll be asking him, what is this? I see a toilet. I see a, a battery bath. <laughs> Why? But why is this arc going in this direction and this one is going in this direction? That was when he taught me this is the direction the doors opened. He would explain everything to me, like in the language he would come down from his level of knowledge and try to explain it to, to me, you know. And I understood them perfectly because, you know, these are visual drawings. So it's quite easy to understand them if someone explained them to you. So at some point, whenever we got there, I didn't ask questions anymore. What I would do is to, like, I can transport myself into the plan like <laughs> it would be like uh, you know all these virtual reality games that you wear goggles and then you're immersed in it like that's how i would just imagine myself in the building and then i could imagine the walls all around me like i'm telling you it was so surreal like i could imagine this conjure all these things up in my mind and I'll be moving from room to room like a maze. Like I'll be following the doors. I'll come, I'll say, I'll open the doors. They'll be having a conversation in the living room and I'll be there going from room to room like a maze. It was so much fun. That's when I fell in love with building. And that's when I decided I knew what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a civil engineer so bad. Yeah, I wanted to be, a, I wanted to be that person now convert this building into the edifice yeah that's all i wanted to be i wanted to be a civil engineer and i started announcing it slowly i want to be a civil engineer and then they were like you see that building there can you climb it you know the civil engineers they climb that building they, they will show me the scaffolds and say that this scaffold can you hold <laughs> i know that civil engineers don't really climb the buildings i didn't know then i know it now but then they will try to tell me in such a way that these civil engineers climb these buildings from the scaffolds and I'll be like, no, I won't be able to climb. And they say, what of when you, if you're pregnant, you're a, you're a woman, this is a man's job. Hey, and slowly but surely, you know, our society, parents, they talked me out of that. Then we were doing um, what was called technical drawing and that was, we, it involved building plans, different elevations, yeah. And I was doing so well in the course. Yeah, I, I loved I, I loved buildings. Everything I had to do with buildings, I loved it and I enjoyed it. And then when we were at uni, okay, I went on to do electronic engineering in uni. But in my uni, 
we did general engineering courses in first year and second year. So in my second year, we were doing engineering drawings. My class people will tell you how well I did en in engineering drawing. Like engineering drawing is pretty much like building plans. It's just sectional drawings. And uh, before you know it, I finished drawing mine and I'm already helping other people. So I loved it. So I understood plans and sectional anything very, very early in life because of those building plans. And yeah, even though they were scaring me with <laughs> climbing, I still ended up doing a lot of climbing in my career. Like during my NYSC, if I find the picture, I'll put it here. I This is the NITAL mast at Gary's in Portacourt. Those of you who know NITAL mast, I worked with a telecoms company during my NYSC. So I was, I climbed this mast several times. And in those days when we were climbing it because of my hair, you see a lot of people on the ground shouting, it's a woman climbing. She, she's a woman climbing. She's a girl climbing this thing. She's... <laughs> and then in my day job, look at it. This is the monkey, monkey island, the monkey zone. You climb, climb, climb. This one is even a very a dangerous one to climb. You climb through very narrow ladders and then you get up there and on a slightly windy day because sometimes during the job assessment, the weather is fine, perfect for the job. But when you get up there, it will be swaying a little bit <laughs> when you go up to fix antennas. So, I mean, for someone that is not uh, afraid of heights, climbing should not be an excuse to talk someone out of doing a course that she wanted to do. So, yeah, they talked me out of the course, but I, I do a lot of the things they scared me with. And now I spend a lot of time on construction sites anyway so i would have made a very good civil engineer don't you think <laughs> so parents stop talking your kids out of that so yeah that's when i fell in love with real estate with real estate buildings actually yeah even this was long before i even knew that you can invest in them to make money and now that i know the main reason why i like real estate is like i said it's tangible it's physical it's an edifice you see it's something physical something solid that i see as an a mature a very mature investment like you don't just go into real estate like that you don't just go into building and i like it because it's diverse from land you can just buy land use that to make money without even building on it i have a video where i talked about things that you can do with your empty piece of land without even building on it and then even if you want to build something on it there's a wide range of things you can build on a piece of land you don't have to have have millions to build your first tangible real estate you don't have to you can build a block of shops yeah you can go from block of shop you, you don't even need to have land for this one you can go to the market go to the market association, the executive and chairman and all those things and ask them if there are any stalls available to buy. You can buy it and start renting it out immediately. You saw in one of my village vlogs where my I and my brother-in-law and his friend we were driving around my, my husband's hometown. There was a place they were telling me, pointing at some market like stalls and telling me if you people are interested, these stalls, uh, you can come and apply for these stalls or something like that. But now, we are not interested no money <laughs> so yeah you can go and if you see a new market being built you can go there and acquire some shops and rent them out when the market is open you can build shopping malls you know depending on the area you can build uh, students hostels like i showed in that video there's a school in my husband's hometown so you can build students hostels there for the students they always looking for that you can build residential accommodation for rental depending on the place again you can go around and ask the agents handling a particular area and they will tell you the one that is booming for that area that rents fast for that area and you have self-contained some people will tell you there are a lot of single people here looking for houses some of them end up uh, living in what do you call it boy squatters like boy squatters that are just constructed some of them are not even high enough <laughs> but if you are intentional about building self-contained you can build them on your plot of land without just not having to build them as boy squatters like all these small small rooms that they build at the end of the compound you can build them intentionally like they build students hostels and people will rent them fast 
some places it's one bedroom flat that are booming some places two bedrooms some places three bedrooms some places duplexes some places detached houses so we need to do a survey of you know ask the agents around the place that you want to build and they will tell you which one does best perform better. you can build a uh, office complex depending on where you can build shopping malls what else so many things that you can build so you see there are levels to this so it's not just about oh i don't have enough money there's always enough money for any size of product i mean i'm not talking about ten thousand or twenty thousand yeah i'm just talking about a considerable amount of money you can invest in real estate so it's actually for everybody so you can get on the real estate ladder today you don't have to wait till you're a billionaire or a billionaire <laughs> <laughs> okay i think i said everything i need to say about real estate why i love it maybe i'll make another video about why i hate it oh my god <laughs> that will be the subject for another video because if i start that is my favorite does not mean that it's all roses you know there are downsides there are cons as well there are pros and there are cons and if i start talking if i start to talk oh, we will not stop today so i think maybe i'll reserve it for another video and in another video i'm going to tell you about my favorite real estate you know real estate is very broad very wide like i mentioned i have a favorite inside the real estate <laughs> i will also talk about that in another video if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up the plan is to get the likes in the thousands not even thousands in the millions because the number of likes the videos get is the number of money <laughs> number is the amount of money that will be making on this channel if it's in the in thousands we will be only thousand years on this channel all of us <laughs> if it's in the millions we'll be millionaires so <laughs> get it in the millions yeah so yeah give it a thumbs up and yeah let me know what you think what's your favorite kind of investment what is your favorite favorite yeah you don't have to be investing in it now even if it's your dream kind of investment that is still your favorite so let me know below and tell me your experiences with that all right bye see you soon